Hello everyone, welcome to Science Nonsense. I am Prasanna Deshmukh and today we will be talking about penumbra lunar eclipse. This is just a quick video to let you know how this eclipse is going to be visible, what is its significance and how you can see it. Now on 5th and 6th June night or rather late night on 5th of June on Friday there is going to be an eclipse during which moon is going to pass through the penumbral shadow of earth. Now what does it mean? How to see it? Let's go into detail. As you know eclipses happen when one celestial object comes in between two other celestial objects. Now during the lunar eclipse earth is going to come in between sun and moon. Now you may be aware that moon goes around the earth every 27 and a half days. Now you may be thinking that if moon goes around the earth roughly every month why don't we see lunar eclipse every month and the reason for that is the sun earth plane and moon earth plane is relatively tilted by 5 degree which means there are only two locations during which earth can come between sun and moon and all of three bodies will be in one line that you can see in this diagram where during this phase and this phase all three objects are in one line whereas during this phase and this phase as the plane of moon earth is tilted with respect to moon sun earth we don't get shadow of earth falling on the moon now but only during these nodal points you can see in an eclipse now as you can see earth goes around the sun uh, every 365 days or other 12 months every six months there becomes a possibility of lunar eclipse and hence you might have also experienced that lunar eclipse repeats every six months so what are different types of lunar eclipses so first eclipse is called as total lunar eclipse in which moon will pass through the umbral shadow of the earth another is a partial lunar eclipse during which part of moon will pass through the umbral shadow and part will pass through the penumbral shadow and third one which is going to be uh, on 5th of june is called as penumbral lunar eclipse now further the eclipse on 5th of june is not only penumbral but it is partial penumbral lunar eclipse which means not all portion of moon is going to pass through the penumbral shadow some portion of the moon is going to be outside the penumbral shadow which means some region of the moon will be extremely bright and some part of that will be relatively less bright but remember this is not going to be a very significant eclipse it you won't be seeing any moon phase like this during the eclipse uh, it is just a slight intensity reduction during the upcoming lunar eclipse. So if you have extremely clear skies and if you are watching the eclipse for longer duration then only you will be able to feel it. Seeing a distinct shadow is not possible in this penumbra lunar eclipse. Now this eclipse is going to be visible from Africa, Asia, Australia and uh, some part of this oceans so if you are from south america small region of south america is going to be uh, witness in this eclipse but again as this is not a very significant eclipse very prominent eclipse you won't be able to see uh, much over there uh, if you are in northern america sorry you won't be able to see it but there is going to be another eclipse in july which will be visible majority from africa and north and south america so you can watch that eclipse or try to see this eclipse in july so as i was mentioning that suppose this is a light cone of earth at moon and so basically when earth is casting its shadow it will be in a cone shape and at moon's plane at the moon location the shadow will be like this and moon will be pass passing in this region wherein it will come in the shadow the penumbral shadow of earth it's roughly 50 percent and hence you will be able to see this eclipse if you happen to be in a very clear sky zone now it is visible as i said from india and here i am throwing the timings of bangalore now one thing is to be noted that this eclipse is going to have same timings throughout the India. So the reason for that is all of us from India will be seeing towards the moon at the same time and there will not be any relative shadow difference 
on the moon as seen from different locations uh, there is not going to be different timing so it happens that whenever i go live during the eclipse different people from different regions in india keep asking the what will be time in mumbai what will be time in bangalore what will be time in kolkata so the timing is going to be same for everyone uh, and it is given here though i have written bangalore timing you can assume this timing to be same for entire india now if you happen to be in different parts of the world what you just do is just add your time difference with respect to utc to these timings these are the time timings with respect to utc and you will be able to see so as seen from india on 5th of june night at 11:15 in the night this eclipse is going to start the max is on 6th june which is a midnight of 5th and 6th at around 1 o'clock you will be having the max of eclipse and around 2:30 this eclipse is going to be and so direction to see this eclipse you just have to go out if the sky is clear moon is visible point your self towards the south southern direction and look up at around 50 to 45 to 50 degree and you will be able to see moon of course moon detect uh, identifying moon is not so difficult it is the brightest object in the sky because it is full moon day on 5th of june so if you happen to Uh, have clear skies do go out and see so of course i know that many of us will not be able to go out and see the moon uh, because of monsoon season it's cloudy out here so here is the simulation from time and date and what is going to happen is this is the penumbral shadow of earth and moon is going to pass through it so as you can see this region will get relatively darker compared to the top region which will be in the direct sunlight this part will not receive all the sunlight coming from the sun some part will get obstructed by earth so hence this will be relatively darker if you are from a region where this eclipse is not visible what then so we are going to have our full fledged setup here from bangalore we are going to live stream this eclipse on our social network science non science and do check out this channel during the eclipse time we'll be having live stream live q and a if you have any questions we will be answering now we are not just going to live stream this eclipse we are going to live stream many upcoming eclipses so if you haven't subscribed till now do consider to subscribe to science non science now this is not the only eclipse in coming time there are several eclipses the most interesting eclipse in coming time which will be visible from india asia will be on 21st of june 2020 and it is a annular solar eclipse now in december 2019 there was another annular solar eclipse and this is the second annular solar eclipse in this time now it will be visible from africa as well as some region in the northern part of india so it will be interesting to see this eclipse because now there is a travel restrictions and it is happening in india so rest of the world will not be able to travel to india to do uh, to see this eclipse so Uh, there are many people who are going to uh, attempt for live streams uh, there will be a live stream from indian institute of astrophysics so do tune in to their youtube channel and you will be able to see eclipse they are going to live stream from hanle where there is a observatory so if you haven't seen uh, indian institute of astrophysics youtube channel do check it out it's very nice there is another penumbral lunar eclipse in july and will be visible from north and south america there is another one in november 2020 but the most interesting eclipse of 2020 is the total solar eclipse which will be visible from south america and is going to be the best eclipse of this year of course there is a total lunar eclipse on 26th of may 2021 but majority of it will be visible in the pacific ocean so uh, of course hawaii it will be uh, visible and we hope that there will be some live streams coming from there So to know more about this eclipse you can go to these links which are in the description as well. So as I said on this channel we talk about astronomy space related topics and any scientific topics which are interesting to us uh, and yeah so if you haven't subscribed do consider to subscribe we will be live during the eclipse and we'll be answering to some of your questions so with that I'll see you in the next video.